I really like the view in the old Google Analytics where you can watch the traffic from day to day and you can stretch out the graph for a complete year and then look at the page views for every single month. So what I'm talking about is this graph that we have here. And if I stretch out to about a, to about a year and we shift to monthly view, I can look at the traffic data for every single month here. So in Google Analytics 4, we are not able to get that graph anywhere. We are met with this uh, on the front page and we can extend this to a year or to any time period that we like, but it only gives us a graph with a very, some funny, uh, time intervals here that that doesn't really tell me anything and doesn't fit into my KPI reports. There's also the possibility to go to reports and then engagement, pages and screens, and we get something similar, but still it's not the same graph and it doesn't give you a, a good overview. So the trouble with Google Analytics 4 is that it was never intended to do reporting. And for that, we actually need to set up what used to be called Google Data Studio and now is called Google Looker Studio. And you just log on with your normal Google account. We are creating a blank report. And when you do that, you are asked to couple your Google Analytics account with the Luca Studio. These are all the streams, data streams I have in my Google Analytics account. Let's take my main website here. One, this one is in Danish. And you can have as many connections as, as you like. You are met with uh, an overview, a table here, and then you have the data streams and the style and the chart here. So let's get rid of this one. I'm adding a chart here and I want a line chart. Let's put it here. So date is what I want here. Views is also what I want. And then you can play around with the data settings. So you can choose custom data range and you have uh, quite a lot of options for data ranges here. So I just pick the last 30 days, hit apply, and I have a, a sort of similar graph here. To play around with the styles a bit, just to make it feel a bit more like home, I will increase the line side to line line thickness to three and uh, add some points. And you can play around with that and give it all the colors you like. Let's add one more. Once again, pick chart. And for this, I don't want to have the date. I actually want a month. Let me show you where I'm heading with this. And then as I'm setting the data range to a full year, I do this by choosing custom. And I'm not choosing this year because it only gives me from the 1st of January. I pick advanced and then the start date will be today minus, you can have 12 months actually usually try I actually usually pick 13 just to have a complete year on the graph and and then the the rest of the graph is just what is already passed of this month so I hit apply and then I have the year graph that we saw in the old analytics if you want you can add some controls here and you can add a date selector 
and you can couple these graphs with this data selector and you will have something that resembles the old Google Analytics. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, best way to support the channel. And let me know in the comment section what you would like a guide for next. Till next time.